In this video, we're going to take a look at how to find a desired measure in scale drawings and scale models. The first thing that we want to do is start by laying out the scale as a ratio. And when we do that, that's going to open up the layout for our proportion that we can use. So, in this first example, it says the scale drawing has a scale of 3 inches is 10 feet. 3 inches to 10 feet. So, I'm going to start by laying out that scale as a ratio. So, 3 over 10. Now, I'm going to set that equal to, and we have another ratio, this together is going to make a proportion. Now, the 3 inches is on top and the 10 feet are on the bottom. The drawing is in inches and it's 24 inches. So I'm going to match those inches up horizontally. So notice the 3 inches, 24 inches, they match up horizontally across the top here. Then on the bottom, well, there's a thing that I don't know. Now remember to solve proportions we use cross products so we're going to take 3 times x so 3x is equal to and the other cross product is 24 times 10 which would be 240 then we can solve that equation remember to solve an equation we just want to get that variable by itself so divide by 3 divide by 3 and we end up with x equals 80 now it's important to remember, well, what is that 80? Okay, the drawing was 24 inches, and the drawing's in inches. The real thing is in feet. So this is going to be 80 feet. So on the drawing, if it measures 24 inches, in real life, it measures 80 feet. All right, so let's take a look at another example here. And for this one, <coughs> we're given the measurement in real life and we want to find that measurement on the drawing okay so we're gonna start exactly the same way we're gonna start by setting up the scale as a ratio so again the 3 over 10 then I'm gonna match up horizontally what I'm given now in this case it's 25 feet which is on the real thing the real thing is the 10 and that's on the bottom so I'm going to put the 25 on the bottom right there then that last spot gets an X and we're going to go ahead and do our cross product so 10 times X so we have 10 times X is equal to the other cross product which is 3 times 25 which is 75 divide by 10 divide by 10 we end up with X equals 7.5 now 7.5 what? Well in this case we were working with the actual which was 25 feet and the model or the drawing excuse me is in inches so that's going to be 7.5 inches okay so the key is starting by setting up the scale as a proportion or as a ratio excuse me and then using that to come up with our proportion so let's look at this other one and it's a model but the same idea fits so let's start by setting up that scale as a ratio now this one's a little bit different because it has half an inch half an inch equals three feet well a few ways I could deal with that I could use the fraction one half I could get rid of that by changing my scale I could multiply by 2 on each of those that would give us a uh, scale without a fraction or we could just express one half as a decimal I like that one so I'm gonna call one half point five and that's gonna be over three so there's my my scale now just one note about taking those fractions and writing them as decimals if it's a nice decimal and by nice decimal I mean one that ends like this it's perfectly okay to do that however if you have a fraction say one-third 
and you want to convert that to a decimal, remember that would be 0.33333 and so on, we'd have to round it to write it as a decimal. We don't want to do that. So if you ever get yourself in a situation where you want to change from a fraction to a decimal, but if you have to round it, mm, try to stick with the fraction if you can. So just something to keep in mind there. All right, then let's match up what we're given. In this case, we have a model, but it's going to be the same idea. Here's our model, okay, and then this is the real thing. So on the model, it's one half. I'm going to match up this 4.5. So right there, we've got 4.5. I want to know what it is in the real world. So set up our proportion, then again, to solve, do your cross products. So it's 0.5x and then 3 times 4.5 is my other cross product. Take that on your calculator. We get 13.5. Then we're going to divide by 0 0.5 on both sides. Dividing by 0 0.5. We end up with x equals 13.5 divided by 0 0.5. Okay, is 27. Now, be careful. It, sometimes people want to do that mentally and say that that would be half of this. But remember, dividing by a half is the same, really, as multiplying by 2. Remembering those um, reciprocals and uh, how those things are related. So just another thing that I sometimes see people get mixed up with. Then, we end up with 27. 27 what? Well, that bottom one, the 3 was in feet, so this 27 is going to be in feet as well. So in the real world, it's 27 feet if it was 4.5 inches on the model. Okay, now let's try one where things are reversed. We are given a measurement on the um, actual situation and asked to find what it is on the model. So started off same old way probably sound like a stuck record here 0 po point zero 0.05 or point 0.5 0 0.5 then divide that's over 3 match it up we have feet in this case remember the feet are on the bottom so the 25.5 on the bottom put our variable on the top do cross products we have 3x equals 0.5 times 25.5 it's going to give us 12.75 then divide by 3 both sides divide by 3 we end up with x equals 12.75 divided by 3 is 4.25. I could have done that. 4.25. Now, label on that one is inches because we're working in the real world with the feet. That top label is in inches. And it kind of makes sense because over here, notice we had the 4.5 on the model. Turned out to be 27 feet in real life. In real life, we have 25.5 on the model 4.25 so it makes sense because they're very close so working with scale drawings and models the first thing that you want to do is take whatever scale you're given and set it up as a ratio from there we can match up horizontally what we're given so if we're given something on the model match it up horizontally with the model if we're given something in the real world match it up with that real world piece then you have a proportion remember we solve uh, proportions using cross products and off we go hope this video is helpful keep working hard on your math you can do it